there is one rule termed as faucets rule which will help you in identification of number of given lumbar vertebrae now as for this rule what you need to do is you'll have to see any given lumbar vertebrae from behind and you'll have to join the four articular processes two superior and two inferior and you'll have to imagine a shape so in case of l5 the imaginary shape will become horizontal rectangle over here you can clearly make out while joining these four it will become a horizontal rectangle so that will be l5 similarly in case of l4 it will become a square let me show you l4 see over here this is l4 and you can clearly imagine formation of square over here so this will be l4 similarly l3 will form a vertical rectangle let me show you l3 over here you can imagine a vertical rectangle right and as the distance between two superior and two inferior articular processes is different so the distance is more in case of superior articular process as compared to inferior one it will become a trapezium in shape for l1 and l2 you can clearly make out over here see this so this can be l1 or l2 so according to the shapes are formed you can clearly identify or determine number of given lumbar vertebrae now this is termed as faucet's rule